it weird that I sit on the floor to do my videos? Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video this week. I'm trying to upload every Friday, it kind of feels doable as ever amongst my plants and toys and I've even got some like dishcloths hanging up back there I've noticed. Oh. Right, so today I want to talk about something really, really exciting. I know it's only November, but I have launched my festive campaign. It's called Seasons Green Tings. That's a bit of a pun. I'm guessing you've got it. Sam came up with a name actually, so props to him. Um, yeah, it's called Seasons Green Tings, and it's basically all about approaching the festive season through a bit more of a sustainable, simple, a stripped back lens basically. So it's divided into four different themes over the month of November and each week we're going to be looking at a different theme. The four themes are decoration, gifting, food and drink and activities. I just wanted to keep it broad enough so that it would be accessible to everyone but also try and give it some structure so that it can kind of be broken down a bit and within each theme there's going to be three different mindsets or kind of behaviours that I'm going to be laser focusing in on and suggesting some alternatives for or switches. So kind of not dissimilar to the plastic free parent challenge that I ran a couple of months back but obviously focusing on the festive season. So what else do I want to say about it? Well, it is not a Christmas campaign. It's not a religious campaign. It's for people of all backgrounds. It's going to be looking at aspects of Diwali and aspects of Hanukkah, aspects of the winter festival for people that celebrate in the Steiner way. The campaign's going to run across Instagram and social media, but I've also created an accompanying 30 page guide that you can download on my blog. I will link to it below. And the guide aims to accompany us all through the campaign and again is broken down into different weeks and different themes. So that's it basically, I've been working so hard on it, a lot of late nights, a lot of moments when I'm like what am I doing, this is just why am I doing this, um, but I've absolutely loved working on it, it's been a real labour of love and um, it's something that I feel really passionately about so I'm going to put my coffee down, um, I feel like celebrating has become a little bit hijacked by our consumerist society and I want to challenge some of those things basically and try and bring it back to a more simple, more accessible, more fun, more joyful way of being and celebrating. You know, a couple of weeks back I mentioned on my Instagram that I was going to be running a festive campaign around celebrating and some of the words that surfaced were things like anxious and dreading and uh, expectation and pressure and lots of negative things that I really want to disassociate from celebrating and I think that is simply because there is too much pressure put on all of us and unrealistic expectation. I did a lot of research pulling together this guide and some of the statistics that I surfaced were pretty shocking. I think probably the worst one is that during the festive period we create 30% more waste than the rest of the year which is just ridiculous when you think about it especially because during the whole rest of the year we create 2.12 billion tonnes of waste over the course of that year so if it's increasing by 30% in December well that's not ideal. Anyway I'm waffling now probably also wondering why I'm doing this in November it seems kind of early I'm never early for anything, so I'm even surprising myself about how I managed to put this out so early, but basically I know that December's kind of crazy and I also know that it's when we lack time that we start to be really unconscious about our decisions and so I wanted to put this out early to give everybody time to digest it and to properly plan um, because yeah, it's when we're really rushed and just don't have the time that we grab the rubbish. But also, I just really want to be able to create a community and a hub of resources for everyone in time for Christmas that people can keep tapping into um, over November and into December to hopefully find loads of interesting, inspiring information. That's it, I guess. And yeah, I just absolutely love making it. I've done loads of research and just so many of the statistics that I've surfaced have been absolutely shocking. Did you know that during the festive period we create 30% more waste than the rest of the year? I really hope you enjoy the campaign. Please join in. Please use the hashtag Seasons Green Tings. It's on different platforms, Facebook, Twitter, mainly Instagram. But yeah, please come along, join in, share your ideas, share your thoughts. It would be great to see what everyone's up to. And yeah, I'm just wishing you a really relaxing, stress-free, sustainable, simple, joyful, wonderful, festive period, however you're celebrating. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. I just realized throughout the whole course of that video that my mic wasn't switched on. Does this sound sound different to the sound you just heard? 
I was walking back from school yesterday with the kids and a man was chopping down part of his bush and I was like, can I have that please? So he gave me this. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I quite like it. Thanks guys, bye.